Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, shamans of the earth and the sky, of the way of healing and peace for all sentient beings. As our beloved Venus moves into her home sign of Taurus and Pluto transitions into Aquarius, we initiate the full shift of the ages into Aquarius, 5D, and the new golden age of enlightenment. Through this equinox gateway of the 20th and heaven's cross on the 22nd, we break through the 23rd into the fire of Aries and the higher self, symbolized by Upper Egypt and the mind of Buddha. Through these activations and initiations, we make our transformations of divine alchemy and balance the five elements both internally and externally and vibrate our body, mind, and spirit with the harmony of the music of the spheres. With these massive energies flowing in, Pachamama received another powerful activation today with a magnitude 7 earthquake in the Kermadec Islands at 056 UTC. Through the resonating Queen's Chamber of our Sacred Heart Centers, we come into divine resonance with our Mother, Father, God, Source Creator, and consciously co-create the new heaven upon the new earth. We have powerful crystalline rainbow diamond codes coming in today from our local Solaris, bringing in stellar upgrades and activations for our quantum leap of consciousness into homo luminous, light beings of infinite life. With the rising of Lemuria and Atlantis, the divine feminine and the divine masculine merge in Heros Gamos, and the eagle flies with the condor over the Elysium fields to transmit the holy union codes of unconditional love and oneness for all our earth angelic ground crew of the 144 to complete our missions of assisting Gaia and all her children of the sun to elevate and raise into the frequency bandwidth of the fifth dimension the celestial kingdom on earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful invocation of the Song of Spring. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 19 degrees, 41 minutes Capricorn. The sun is at 26 degrees, 2 minutes Pisces. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 27 degrees Pisces. A harvest moon illuminates the sky. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 20 degrees Capricorn. A hidden choir singing during a religious service. From astrologyweekly.com And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Jennifer Catron. Galactic codes in the field, next level, embodiment of Paleodorian covenant. Gifts and abilities being upgraded. Mission, Master Contracts being activated. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Roberto Nunez. Pay attention, portal open until March 23rd. All aligned up physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Tune in moment by moment. You are going to witness the new flows of light. They will be unique and quite extraordinary. Keep this line up for more experiences to come. Embrace this light and witness these new cosmic rays. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster, Knowledge of the Ancients has returned. There has been a massive awakening. The information that is stored deep in your cells, the codes and key codes, have been fully activated now to allow you to fully unfold in this cosmic dance along with your brothers and sisters of all races and all colors, reunited the aspect of self 
from Lemuria and Atlantis, the merging of hearts, the true divine union, from ValerieElster.com, and from divine sister of the light Celia Fenn, the approaching equinox. We are just four days out from the equinox and the solar and galactic energies are so intense. There was a huge explosion on the far side of the sun a couple of days ago, probably an X-class flare, which caused an ion storm Earthside. The Earth has continued to put on a pre-equinox display of color and light in the nighttime sky. Equinox is a pivotal moment in the unfolding of the sacred year when it is necessary to hold love and balance in your heart. You are holding steady the time spiral that you are currently unfolding. If you can stay in peace and balance, so will your time spiral. If you descend into chaos, then so will your time spiral momentarily. I like to think of it as a vessel on a potter's wheel, which was the image used by the ancient Egyptians for the creator god, Ptah. When you hold your creation steady, you create a beautiful vase. When you wobble, then it becomes unsteady and unstable, and you get a crazy lopsided vase. That is why we need right now to stay in peace and balance, no matter what goes on out there. I have found that with these intense solar energies, I have felt very dizzy and ungrounded. So I am working strongly on grounding into the emerald grids of the new earth. My meditation project with my community is the celebration of the sacred garden temple on new earth. Being in the shady gardens of the sacred temple helps me to deal with the intense heat we have right now and an approaching storm for the equinox. We are certainly living in interesting times. Remember to rest when you need to. Stay hydrated with high frequency water and stay in your heart's wisdom and love. Have a wonderful day from CeliaFen.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Akash Ra Azurite, we are materializing the crystalline diamond plasma liquid light particles within this new galactic cosmic Gaia templates. New crystalline golden diamond silica plasma liquid light energy matrix transmission. The snow transmits rainbow plasma liquid photonic light. Beautiful pastel liquid orange yellow aurora green purple diamond star light particles, plasma photonic light fields. So magical the rainbow blue galactic suns of the aurora earth, beyond words, beyond the galaxies, beyond the human mind. To see this crystalline silica plasma photonic light fields from our inner universal soul physical body vessel stargate chamber experience. The only one who can experience this is you. It's your rainbow world. We allow others into our universe from a place of pure love, no judgment, old mentalities, consciousness steps into this field systems. Remember to allow your new 5D beyond self to have time to experience this magical experience, to hold the new earth 12D crystalline quantum fields. So magical, awesome galactic passageways from StarseedEvolutionUnited.net and from Divine Sister of the Light, Marie Josie Gerson de Lum. A change takes on power and speed. We are being asked to go into gentleness and slow down, return to self, in order to remove all forms of tensions that are just as destructive as fear. Collectively, we are all after ascension with Gaia, so everything is perfect in its imperfection. Being present to yourself in your physical body has been repeated for many years. This is key, heart, soul, spirit alignment to merge with Source God. It's only in this space that God can reveal himself to you. Allow God to show you the real version of yourself, the truth, and welcome Everything is illusion, fear, judgment, duality. Welcome the Christ consciousness that has returned among us 
and establish it in you by integrating and rooting it strongly. I am that Christos consciousness. I am the forgiveness. I am the peace. I am the love. I am, I am, I am. From MarieJoseMedium.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Sandra Walter Gratitude to all who are supporting these new frequencies and divine harmonics during the Equinox Gateway Passage. The influx of new light has been dazzling, dismantling, and deeply encoded for the realm shift experience. I know many of you have seen this new light and its veil-thinning effects in the field. This light is aimed at activating the crystalline within Gaia's core as well as our DNA, hearts, consciousness, and those new crystalline senses we have been talking about. Gate and grid, folks. We assist Gaia's core shift in this now. The Equinox Gateways open Monday, March 13th with a big CME and proton storm. Just one week before the equinox on Monday, March 20th at 2.24 p.m. PST. This stargate alignment is open through March 23rd. There is a beautiful simultaneous preparation for equinox and activation of infinite hearts happening in the collective in this now. This is a week to be all in with your realm choice physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual alignment through new creations and connection with your divine presence. Get out on Gaia for the organic core shifting energies and assist kingdoms, elementals, and humanity with receiving these organic stargate flows. It is one of those dismantling and activating passages when we feel our consciousness and realities changing each day. It is a lot of new light intelligence, the purest type to enter our fields yet to integrate. Pay attention to what presents. We consistently shed the illusion of finite constructs and open to the infinite freedom of the infinite Christ heart. Create a vibrational match for the realm shifting, perspective changing, heart opening core shift happening within Gaia. Meditate and be in creative flow to witness the new light influxes. Quite extraordinary. In love, light, and service, Sandra from AscensionPath.com From Divine Sistar of the Light Aurora Ray A call for action by the Galactic Federation of Light. Greetings, beloved ones. Your evolution has our full attention. Today we wish to speak to you about the fact that humans on planet Earth are still not living in peace and harmony as they should be. The recent events on Earth reveal a great deal about what we've been up to on this planet. Clearly we need some help. What we need is your help, people of the Earth. We come to you with an exciting opportunity to become a member of the Galactic Federation. All of the events that are happening are an expression that the planet is in transition, transitioning into light into higher frequencies of consciousness that you will participate in. In this moment, your planet is going through a cleansing period wherein she is going to ascend her vibration from being a 3D planet body to a 5D reality, with an elevating consciousness of humankind from the lower 4th, 3rd dimension into the higher 4th through 5th dimension. You will experience this ascension in your physical reality, which means you will feel it physically in your bodies. The fifth dimension is not a theory. It exists right now and you can ascend into the fifth dimension at this moment. Now the fifth dimension exists in the third and fourth dimension like a parallel reality or like an invisible realm. It coexists with our world. The different densities are not separated from each other. There are many reasons for you all to leave the 3D reality. Perhaps not everyone is called to do this, but you are. You may not know it yet, but your soul needs this transmutation more than anything else in your current incarnation. You are ready, dear one. Ascension is addressed to people who are awake, conscious, and self-aware. 
It's the last chance to awaken and make an evolutionary leap in this lifetime before Mother Earth completes her planetary ascension. The soul's rewards for this massive transformation are vast. This is partly the reason why you decided to sign up for this mission. It is a fantastic opportunity because you took a major step. You stepped aside from the old version of the 3D world and hence stepped aside from the old version of yourselves to enter into the new world. Accomplishing this whilst being incarnated into a human body in the density of the third dimensional reality is huge. There is one more step left before you can embrace your ascended consciousness. You have already walked the path of love and forgiveness but still need to get rid of your last ego illusions if you want to be really complete. Being connected with the light, you should also get rid of your last shadows. The final step is to let go of the ego. Many people face difficulties in their lives as a result of their ego. Ego can bring sadness, anguish, hatred, and jealousy into one's life. Ego will never be a vehicle for the fifth dimension, nor will it ever be a portal to the beyond. The ego is focused on achieving its objectives. The ego yearns for a brighter future. It can yearn for the other life, the fifth dimension, and even the afterlife. It doesn't matter what it yearns for, yearning is what it is, as is projecting into the future. The desire of the mind is to be exceptional. The ego yearns for acknowledgement that you are someone. Someone accomplishes that desire through wealth, while another achieves it through power, politics, and yet another through miracles and juggling. However, all of their desires are aimed at appeasing their ego. Your ego is the source of your sorrow. The only way out is to become a spectator of your own mental processes. Being ordinary is the only miracle, the unthinkable miracle. There is no ego to be discovered whenever you are now and here. You are the epitome of silence. Being separate as an ego is the source of all unhappiness. Being one, to be flowing, to be immersed in life so deeply, so completely, that you are no longer there, that you are lost, then you are entering into the fifth dimension. The ego is the voice in your head that brings endless mind chatter. It judges everything and everyone and places these judgments into different boxes. It points its finger towards others and things labeling them good or bad, right or wrong. We invite you to go beyond wrongdoing or right doing, practice neutrality, an instant of being persuaded by your ego mind to judge whether something is good or bad. Try asking yourself what the situation or another person triggers in you. What is it trying to teach me? What can I learn from this? How can I utilize this information for growth and the evolution of my consciousness? Step out of the mind prison and into freedom, peace, and tranquility. Do not let your thoughts determine your reality. Focus on your feeling center. Embrace the idea that love is the only reality. What would love do? Focus on this question when the ego mind chatter appears. Love, God, and light all emerge from the death of the ego. You are reborn when the ego dies. All suffering vanishes as if it never was. A deep sweetness and gentle joy emerge in your being for no apparent reason. You can't describe it to anyone and you can't even explain it to yourself. It's enigmatic and unfathomable. You are then totally relaxed. You are feeling peace, calm, bliss, and love radiating from the center of your being. It fills every cell of your body. It flows around you. It is a great light that penetrates everywhere. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation from the galacticfederation.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, Leaders of Light, Visualize, A World Filled with Love and Awe, A Place of Unity and Happiness, Where Manifestation is Instant, A Community of High Vibrational Beings, See Us in Unconditional Harmony and Love, A Multidimensional Wonderland, 
Focus on your heart and connect to us, infinite being you are, together as one with all beings. Sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen, from KarenLithica.com. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Carolyn, 144, God Code, a flip is occurring from feeling stifled and repressed to aligning with receiving the abundant supply of the universe. It has taken some seclusion from external energies to be in your own energy and get this alignment in order. Finally, feeling peaceful, grounded, and independently successful can integrate. From this foundation, more insight and direction from the divine continues to bless you. You have healed and transmuted so much from childhood and genetically. You may not have realized the value and purpose of your efforts until now. These results are revealing themselves and will be reflected in your children and the future generations to come. Have patience and trust in the changes happening that will be attracting love, happiness, and blessings into you and your family's lives. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn. From 144godcode.com And from the Goddess Circle, Venus enters Taurus, March 16. Venus enters Taurus, which can bring some focus to our home lives. Taurus is ruled by Venus, and this energy can shift to our relationships and our connection to others. Venus wants us to make sure that there is commitment and solid foundation if we are moving forward in our relationships, both personal and professional. Taurus reminds us to put some energy into our home, putting focus on creating an environment that sustains and nourishes us. From GoddessCircle.net and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah, White Horse. Mercury conjunct Neptune in Pisces. Sun in Pisces square Mars in Gemini. Venus in Aries square Pluto in Capricorn. Venus enters Taurus. The triple conjunction in Pisces peaks. A storm at sea. A tiny sailboat rocks precariously from side to side. Mercury sits cross-legged, sends up prayers, waits for the miracle, but the sun is having none of it. Ego thrusts faith aside, tries to force its will on the universe. Hear me, I demand it. A siren smothers a giggle as she watches Venus frantically try to maintain her grip on a treasure chest. Just let it go, says the siren as she dips out of sight. Here we are then, emotions cycling up and down, one minute everything to hope for, the next, a roaring rage. Fear's engine thrums. Here's stands on end. It all feels so precarious, and we want it resolved now before it's too late. There is no late, whispers the universe. There is only now and now and now. There is no want, only need, and the endless energetic flow of the universe. It will carry you if you yield, if you stop, if you listen. Look. Here is land, sand, roses blooming over the welcome arch. Take off your shoes, feel the earth. Here is substance and sustenance, you and matter. This is all, this is everything. You matter. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 42, White Electric Wind. The number three is called electric and its keywords are activate, bond, and service. The yellow sun wave spell is a 13-day journey of discovery and a time when long-awaited answers finally come. The third step of any wave spell is about activating the process. It really adds electrical energy to whatever day it is combined with. Day one is about setting the goal and purpose. Day two, we remove the things in our way. And on day three, we push the button and take off. Once you get used to living the Zolkeen, one wave spell at a time, you observe how the energy of the numbers creates a flow. Today is the white wind, which represents communication, breath, and spirit. These days are always great for writing letters or poetry, for speaking in public, for having that conversation you have been putting off, 
for saying sorry, too. One of the keywords associated with White Wind is spirit, so don't forget it's a great day to send or receive a message from the universe. As it is an electric day, expect your voice to be amplified. You can activate communication today, and so your message has a lot of power. Be careful what you say. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. White Electric Wind, 3 Eek, Keen 42, 16th of March, 2023, Activating Divine Service, 16 3, 2023, equals 7 3, 7, 37 into 73, Heaven on Earth, equals 7 10, equal 8, Day Code 16, Tower Struck by Lightning, Sudden Unexpected Events. 7. Spiritual Test, Initiation, Solitude, Magic, Mystic, Magician. 8. Infinite Abundant Source Flow. Month Year Codes. 3. Holy Trinity, Creativity, Joy, Happiness. 7. 10. Manifestation, Authority, Power, Leader. 1. New Beginnings, Original, Leader, Independent, Unique. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 23. Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection, Support. Keen 42 equals 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Harmony. A powerful doorway to spirit is open today for very clear divine guidance to implement the divine plan for humanity. Day 3 in the Yellow Sun Wave Spell of Illuminating Our Highest Evolutionary Path to Reclaim Our Soul Power and Full Sovereignty. Today we activate our capacity to shine by communicating the spirit messages that are felt through our connections with others. This is the phase where disparate elements are brought together, unified in their quest to serve the world. The electric wind coupled with the yellow sun make for a potent electromagnetic force driven to accelerate your ascension through devotion to spirit and the divine plan on earth. This is rocket-fueled acceleration today. Tone of creation. Electric is tone number three in the tone of creation. It is the first of the three emotional realm tones. Its focus is being of service to others through the action of bonding. That is, coming together with others to co-create and be of service. Electric energy provides the ignition or spark for your manifestation. It is a current that needs to keep moving and flowing, transmitting energy. It also adds power to anything you are creating today. An extra electrical boost to draw upon. The power of three is derived from two units merging and creating the third, more powerful entity. This action duplicates the essence of bonding and service that the electric tone provides. Today beckons you to become emotionally mature. Together with your divine counterpart, offer your united energies to be of service to all. Expand your focus from bonding with one to the joy of bonding with all. The electric tone coupled with the white wind is a very potent force to receive clear guidance for your divine service mission. Tune in for the powerful messages from spirit today. Today we are questioning how we can activate our electrical power to send waves of pure charged energy to uplift and energize others through divine service. Surrender your little human to the will of the divine and elevate your consciousness to that of a divine human. In this state you can leave a powerful legacy on our planet and influence the lives of a greater number of people. All great rewards for a life well lived in service to the divine, the power that unites us all as one global human family. Today's question is, am I willing to surrender my life purpose to spirit, connecting with others to creatively express the will of the divine? Divine blessings for the full expression of your electrical power through active divine service. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 42. White Electric Wind. The mantra, the code for today is, I activate in order to communicate, bonding breath. I seal the input of spirit with the electric tone of service. I am guided 
by the power of death. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can either make a monthly pledge or a one-time donation to the links at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Loretta Friesen, for another super thanks donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sis Star. We appreciate you and your support. We appreciate all of you that continue to support us in this work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so thank you all very much. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a very powerful invocation from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Emily Kate, from A Light from Albion. The Invocation of the Song of Spring I invoke the yellow, violet, orange, pink, green flame of the Divine. I allow the colors of spring to fall as a waterfall through the stellar gateway, through my galactic chakra and over my physical vessel. I envision myself surrounded by yellow, violet, orange, pink, and green pastel colored spheres. I invoke the essence of the magnolia flower to clear my aura. I invoke the essence of the crocus flower to shield my heart. I invoke the yellow flame of the forsythia plant to brighten my energy field. All of this light today has been brought down from higher dimensions onto my vessel and into Mother Gaia. I am grateful for the colors and light surrounding me. I am grateful for spring. I bring the yellow, pink, green, violet flame down over my neighborhood, my state, my country, my continent, and Mother Gaia in her entirety. I see the colors flowing as water and feel the waterfalls pouring over her being. I hear the sounds of the birds singing and harmonizing Gaia's field. I am song. I am light. I am spring. I am happy. Blessings from Gaia. Emily Kate Ashnia Allah. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed 17th tomorrow, and for our people that celebrate St. Patrick's Day, this is the color of the green, the emerald green of the heart chakra, and Mother Gaia, the green and blue earth. This is also the luck of the Irish and the four-leaf clover. This is the gold at the end of the rainbow. This is our abundance, our prosperity, our peace, happiness, and joy. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.